it's Kathy from NatureWorks and I have come up with an idea um, and I'd like you to go and try it out for me. So while lots of us have been um, have not been going to school, hopefully we've been having lots of walks um, along our lovely public footpath networks um, and out into the countryside sometimes and hopefully you've been spotting some wildflowers. It's been an amazing spring, lots of lovely sunny weather which has really helped us to get out and about um, and maybe because we're going out in our local patches more often we're seeing things that we haven't really noticed before. So um, when we see wildflowers we really, it, it, we really want to sort of um, capture that but what we really don't want to do is go picking them all. So I've come up with an idea that you can help try out for me if you like about how to collect up the colours. Now the beauty of this activity is that you don't have to even pick the whole flower. You might just need a leaf or part of a leaf or just a single petal from a flower which is just enough to for us to be able to capture that colour and see what we can do with it. So I would really like you to experiment with this. Um, so what you'll need is a piece of card. So I've done some like this. I've cut some out like colour palettes. So it's like an artist's palette. So you could put little smudges of colour all, all over this and make it look like an artist's palette. Um, and my other idea is um, to use um, a sketchbook. Um, so this sort of thick paper that you can get um, in, a, in a little notebook like this or a postcard even though the oh, empty postcards perfect um, so what we're going to do I picked a few little flowers from my garden so this is just a buttercup petal so I'm just going to put that on the paper and just give it a smudge with my finger and as you can see not surprisingly I've got a little smudge of yellow okay so the next thing I'm going to try is some petals from the red campion flower. I'm going to put it on there, give it a smudge. And I think that would be pink, wouldn't you? But it actually comes out as a rather smart purpley blue colour, which I rather like. Um, leaves um, are something to try it's actually quite much harder than you think to get a good green um, if you live near a bit of woodland where there are still some wild garlic leaves around wild garlic makes a really good you can get quite a lot of uh, good green pigment from wild garlic leaves i thought i'd have a go with bindweed it's got to be good for something oh that is quite good actually that's quite a nice a nice green that you get from bindweed you need, you need a leaf that's quite got quite a lot of moisture in it i think look at that so can you see how that you you could collect up colors as you walk along um and then when you get home you can you, you'll be able to remember some of the flowers that you've seen and you might be able to look them up you could even um get a thin um felt tip pen and draw the flowers in over the top of your little colour smudges and see how that goes. Okay, so look forward to seeing how you get on with that one. Okay, thanks very much. See you soon.